let's have a sense of where you should be up to now. We start out with the basic accounting equation that assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. And that can often be presented in other formats such as owner's equity equals assets minus liabilities. But we'll start with the basic accounting equation. So what does that uh, mean for us? Well, it, basically this means that all the assets we have in a business are funded either by liabilities or owner's equity. Let's have an example. You uh, start out a business and you've got a motor vehicle worth $10,000 that you've put into the business. So you're increasing your owner's equity in the business by $10,000 and that's corresponded with an asset of $10,000. So your assets equals your liabilities plus your owner's equity. Then you might buy a trailer to be towed around by the motor vehicle. You don't have any money, so you borrow, um, or you buy it on higher purchase, and you say your next asset, the trailer, is funded by liabilities. So our accounting equation always stays in balance. Now the next important thing we need to know is to do with debits and credits. Uh, basically a debit means the left hand side of an entry and therefore a credit is the right hand side. So anything that increases an asset becomes a debit. And because our equation needs to stay in balance, the debits equal credits, therefore anything that increases a liability is a credit, and anything that increases owner's equity is a credit. So if we looked at these equations before, uh, how would we put them in the journal? Well, we would have here, um, the first entry would be debit, asset, $10,000, and credit owner's equity $10,000 now of course in practice these might be more detailed it might be debit motor vehicle credit owner's equity and we get down to the next one and you'll see that's a debit asset $2,000 and credit liability $2,000 so we can see here that in a journal entry every debit is supported by a corresponding credit and an increase in an asset is represented by a debit and therefore increases in liabilities are represented by credits and increase in owner's equity are represented by credits. This item down here is referred to as the normal balance. So the normal balance of an asset account is a debit, the normal balance of a liabilities account is a credit and the normal balance of an owner's equity account is a credit. Now let's have a look in a little bit more detail at owner's equity. Zana's equity has a number of components. You think, well, um, how can we have an increase in owner's equity? Well, the owner can make a contribution, capital contribution, or the business could make a sale. Each of these things would increase the owner's equity. The owner puts funds into the business, so the owner has more equity in the business, therefore it's increased owner's equity be a credit. The owner increases, uh, well, there's a sale made that increases the owner's equity in the business, so therefore again we have a credit. When I say sale, there's some type of revenue, so I'll call it revenue cash receipt in some way. And 
owner's equity could fall if the owner draws money out, so capital withdrawals, what is often referred to as drawings, or there's money spent, expenses. Now each of these items are debits. Why? Because drawings reduces the owner's equity in the business. If there's an expense, that also reduces the owner's equity in the business. So this is a part of the accounting equation, assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity, and the owner's equity itself is then broken down into four components. An increase in uh, capital as a credit, an increase in revenue as a credit, uh, an increase in drawings as a debit, and an increase in expenses as a debit. So this is a basic overview of the accounting equation, the normal balances, and a sense of how journal entries come together. Now these are all journals in the general journal. Now you will find that later on and in practice that most journals in fact happen in, in uh, special journals. Most transactions are brought to account in special journals. And uh, the same rules will still apply. That the debits must be matched by a credit. Uh, that's a quick overview of where we should be up to.